Hi, I'm Brett Steinberg from Calamer, and you are watching A Sides. What's up, dude? How's it going, man? Sounded great. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Where do you learn to play like that? Um, honestly, I took a couple lessons in middle school. My mom plays piano, so she taught me a little bit. Okay. And then, um, honestly, I learned most of playing piano and guitar through writing through the instrument, you know, and, and really, and yeah, just, just seeing what works and what doesn't work. Exactly. I would write a progression and I'd be like, oh, wait, that's a C chord. And it kind of right. evolved from that. It's funny, though, because like my dad plays piano and he plays really well. And I totally rebelled against him. Really? As a kid, you never felt like the, was was your mom like not very uh, smothering when it no. came to piano? Because that's the way to go. Right. You know, I actually I started off learning in a, in a way that that made me not want to play it. In like second grade, I would take lessons where you learn like Mary Had a Little Lamb and that yeah. kind of stuff. Right. And it didn't work for me. So I ended up quitting and my teacher was pretty, pretty strict. And then I started just learning chords and getting to play like pop songs and rock songs that I grew up listening to. And that was exciting for me. And then my mom was just there to help. If, if I needed to figure out a chord, she, she knew what I was trying to figure out and was just kind of facilitating that, um, that kind of gaining of knowledge. And at what point did you form that? You had mentioned off camera that you were part of other bands and yeah. stuff, but I want to talk about your current band, yes. obviously. So tell me about how Calamar... Calamar? Calamar. <laughs> cauliflower? You know what? It, it could be cauliflower to you. It's up for interpretation. Yeah. I like to call it Calamar. Calamar. Yeah. Okay. Calamine lotion. Yes. That ba basically I was putting on lotion and it inspired me to This should be your sponsor. Yes. No, but tell, tell me how Calamere got, got together in the first place. Yeah. Because right? you're um, still in school, right, man? Yeah, no, we um, basically, I was doing a solo project and just kind of playing around campus. Uh, and I would play around Connecticut and New York and kind of the region. And I finally came to terms with the fact that most of the songs I was writing would fit really well with the band. It just, I think I write bigger songs and just kind of intimate singer-songwriter setups with the piano and vocals. And um, I basically just kind of, you know, um, I don't, well, you know, Alex, a guitarist, I met at a party, and then he knew Jonah, and it kind of just snowballed from there, and we found, you know, uh, musicians that were, you know, uh, we all had fun making this kind of music. And, and um, really quickly, because I already kind of had experience with booking shows and, you know, writing and recording, we just jumped into it and recorded an album and, and, and booked a ton of shows around the area and kind of have them look back. And at what point did you make uh, Redemption? Yeah, we made Redemption. It was, it was kind of like a maybe half year process writing and getting the songs ready um, in 2015. And then um, we spent last summer recording everything and then we kind of released a couple singles and then released the whole album in January. And... Um, yeah, it was a long time coming. We were we were ready to release it for months and months before we actually did, but we wanted to kind of, you know, integrate the music into what the fans knew of us slowly. How much of the of the new stuff was maybe older stuff that you were working on and retinkering? Was there any cases of that, or is no. it all new? Yeah, it's all, all new. new stuff? Yeah, I I tend to think that um, the older stuff. Th there are a couple gems there, but usually I think the songs that I write six months later are better than, you know, the six months prior songs. Um, I like to think that I keep on kind of growing and learning things as a songwriter. So usually we kind of don't look back. We say, you know, what's the new vision for, for our sound and what message do we want to have for records and, and kind of let that guide us. Well, what is your message? Yeah, I mean, as a band, our message yeah. is, is kind of a clean slate. These and are hard creating. questions. Yeah, well, you know what? They're I like hard questions, man. No easy shit for you today. No, man. I'm, <laughs> dude, I love deep questions. I don't like, you know, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Well, it's blue. Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, which is actually very telling of me and the band, if you really look into it. But okay. um, I had no idea. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. It's, it's super complicated. Um, yeah, um, you know, calendar was a word that we created. It means a blank slate. So, you know, the band is, is this blank slate, and we like to call kind of the community of people that listen to what we do and come to shows is the calendar family. So it's just this idea that, you know, with all the hate and, and um, just terrible things that are going on in the world. What? Well, there are people. Just kidding. Well, yeah, 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 right? Just kidding. Surprise, surprise. I'm just kidding. Open up, uh, you know, New York Times. The just, world is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Um, th this band can be kind of a clean slate for just love and community and acceptance. And, and you have a button that says love, so there we you go. bring it all home. There we go, man. So, by the way, bring back buttons. Because yes. buttons, everyone should wear buttons. Yes. Or I, stickers. I, I, but, well, you know, but you buttons. You're not a stickers guy? 
I'm okay with stickers. Yeah. But like buttons back in the day were awesome. Yeah. And we like people would actually have button machines. And they would always come out shittier than, than like if you bought a button. Right. But I think people need to bring back buttons. I think so too. I have one button that I have on a jacket and it's just Arcade Fire, that's it. I love that band. Yeah. That is great music. But that's it. But yeah. bring back the buttons. I mean, that's honestly, I kind of just bullshitted you with the whole other story. Really, the sole purpose green's of Green's your favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> you were bullshitting me all along. Dude. It's green. The only, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> it's magenta, people. Yeah. Blue is not my favorite color. Come on. Uh, no, our whole purpose is really bring back buttons. I, I don't see another no reason so. to do music or, you know, do what we do. So. I think you got the name of your next album. Bringing back buttons. Yeah. With so, a hashtag in front of it. Right. Yeah. So, but you are, you are actually working on new stuff, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. This whole summer we've been demoing out a ton of new material and, uh, yeah, I mean just hundreds of ideas and then, you know, um, I do a lot of like self recording and producing. So we've really, really fleshed out a lot of the music and, um, and that also helps us kind of carve out a direction for the sound as well that, you know, we have all these synths and, you know, uh, different instrument, instrumental sounds at our disposal that we can really kind of cultivate this idea of what we want to do before we actually really execute, you know, an EP or a full length or whatever we want to do. Um, so it's really exciting. I like the direction that we're going in. Awesome. Tell me how people can find out about you. Yeah, uh, calamer.com, uh, or sorry, cal calamerband.com. You should spell it out. Yeah, yes, K A L. I am you are calamerband.com. And then if you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it's just at calamerband. Um, again, K A L I M U R. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Magenta. Magenta is my favorite color, folks.